Fabulous, welcome back to my channel. It is the first couple of days of spring and it absolutely does not feel that way in Chicago. <laughs> it is still so cold. We are still wearing our winter jackets. So we do not have any spring weather here whatsoever, but hoping that the next few days it will get nice and warm. I know the sun is starting to come out, so we are seeing that over here in Chicago, but it is still freezing guys so do not be fooled by that sun but since it is springtime it is now time for you guys to pull out all of your spring clothes all of the fun colors fun patterns and also to shop for some new spring items for your closet but of course sometimes we have our closets filled with tons of clothes already well at least I know my closets are too full for new clothes right now <laughs> um, so I do need to do some spring cleaning I need to figure out what pieces I want to keep in my closet which ones I want to store away especially like big bulky winter coats things like that that take up tons of space in my closet that can be absolutely stored away for next winter and I also need to go through my clothes to see what I'm gonna donate and what clothes I do not use and I also love to sell some of my clothing pieces accessories things like that online and I love using the app Poshmark if you guys have not heard about Poshmark it is an app that you use to buy and sell clothing items accessories jewelry, shoes, things like that, and I have been using it for over a year. I love selling my gently used items and new pieces on there, things that I maybe purchased and were too small or too big for me, or just new pieces in general that I find in my closet and I end up not liking them and that's why they've been sitting in my closet taking up tons of space. So I love posting them on my Poshmark page, it is super easy. I will be showing you guys today how I sell my clothing items on Poshmark, how I take the photos for them, how I advertise them on there, how I decided on the prices of the items, and some other tips for Poshmark. So if you guys would love to find out more about Poshmark, stick around. Okay, first things first is you want to go ahead and go through your closet and grab those items that you want to put up on Poshmark to sell. So here I just made a quick pile of things that still had tags that I was not going to use and I put them on my bed so that I can get them ready to take a photo of them. I even have a pair of Joel's jeans that he never wore, so I was like, yep, gonna make money off of you. <laughs> so what I'm gonna first do is grab these pants right here. I never wore them because they fit a little bit too tight around the waist area, so I thought, these still have a tag, I only try them on, and so let's sell them. I know someone else will give them a nice home and actually use them, and since I didn't, I just left the tag on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold these pants up and then I'm going to swing one of the legs around so that the full pair of pants can fit in the picture. And this is a technique that I saw a lot of people do on Poshmark so that the full length of the pants shows in the photo. And you want to make sure you have really good lighting so as you can see there the photo looks great. You can actually see the full pair of pants and the photo is nice and clear. So I'm going to do the same thing for jewelry. I have this Juicy Couture silver heart necklace that I never wore and so I thought let's throw it on Poshmark and sell it because it's still cute, it has never been used and what I'm doing here is I'm placing it on the bed again taking a nice clear photo and since this is jewelry I also did a nice close-up photo. And another tip is if you have a pair of pants or shirts, anything like that, you want to make sure you zip up all the zippers, you do all the buttons, and make sure that your clothes looks nice and neat and that will help you sell faster. So once you have all of your photos, now you can open up the Poshmark app and this is how it looks. You have the bar at the bottom with all the menu items and then you right away can see pieces that are being sold. So I'm going to hit my profile on the bottom right, my closet, and that is my Poshmark closet and I'll share with you guys in just a sec what my closet is called and the coupon code that you can use to get started but you can see there that some items have already been sold on my closet and some of them are still available so this is how your closet will look once you start adding items on there to sell and once they're sold they will remain on your closet page so now I'm gonna hit that center button and then hit that folder and pick the photos that are part of what I'm going to be selling. So I'm going to start off with the jewelry. And once you select your photos, it'll let you crop any areas out that you do not need. And I think that's really cool because it has it all within the app. So once you're ready, you hit next and 
that's how your photo is going to look once you crop it. And then I'm going to hit next again. And here is where you'll put all of the details for the item that you're selling. So whether it be the category it's in, the name of it, the price, anything like that. So title here is just, it's a Juicy Tour heart shaped necklace and it's in the color silver. And you don't have to add too much information here because the next one will actually ask you for a full description and you always want to make sure you write new with tags NWT when you have tags still on the item right away so that people can see that. And right here we're just going to select jewelry because it is part of the jewelry category. And you'll just continue down the list filling it all out. The more detailed it is, the better it is to sell your item. Your item will sell way faster if you have multiple photos showing the product and also if you have a lot of description and also if it's new. But you can sell gently used items on here so don't get discouraged. <laughs> um, just make sure you disclose how used it is in the description box. When it comes to deciding what price to put your items up for sale, you always want to make sure you write the original price and then you can actually decide how much you would like to sell your item for. And Poshmark does take a percentage of the sales as you can see there. And yeah, once you're ready, you can just hit list and then it'll show up on your profile like so. And actually, I did forget to take a picture of this necklace's box. And like I said, you always want to make sure you include a ton of pictures because the more you share, the better it will sell. So I'm just going to go back and edit that little post that I had and add a picture of this box with the top of it. Also, you can use this code to get $5 when you sign up for Poshmark, and I will also receive $5 as well. Now, when you're trying to buy something on Poshmark, it's really easy to do. So you just search up the item that you're looking for. Let's say you're trying to buy this LV wallet. I'm going to check out the photos, check out the description, and in the bottom you'll see an offer button and a buy now button so you can actually negotiate with the seller to try to get the item for a lower price and you guys can negotiate back and forth until you come up with the final price so now you can make a lot of money off Poshmark I have actually made some money on here I think a little bit over a hundred dollars as you can see there and you can actually send the earnings straight to your bank account it's just so easy to use Poshmark and I hope you guys enjoy using it as well. So it's super easy to use Poshmark like I told you guys. This video is not sponsored whatsoever. I personally have been using Poshmark for over a year like I mentioned and it's just super easy to use and I have not had any issues with them whatsoever. It's such a great way for you to make some extra money from those clothing items that were just taking up tons of space in your closet. And it's also a great way for you to kick off your spring cleaning, cleaning out your closet, getting rid of those items. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And also do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!